And before we start, I would like to thank Masamune Studio for sponsoring this video and more about them later. Hi everyone, Agampla here. Thank you for joining me for another unboxing and today we're gonna unbox the RG Wing Gundam. So this is the first uh, Wing Gundam kit or Wing Gundam mobile suit so that is going to be an RG that is not included in the Endless World series. So this is from the um, Wing Gundam series. So hopefully they're going to make uh, all the uh, mobile suits from that series as an RG. But uh, this is the first one from that series. And looking at the cover art, you can see a standard RG cover art. You can see a tight shot of the Gundam here with the front view of the Gundam. So because this is a fully transformable Gundam or kit, uh, you can see the uh, transform version in there as well. So you have the RG logo here. And then you have the uh, Gundam Wing logo here. So uh, looking at this cover art, uh, it shows that the skit was released in 2021. So it's uh, June 2021 to be exact. And you have the blue Bandai logo here. So looking at the side, uh, I think this is the standard uh, side for the RG yes, you can see the tight shot here and then we have some um, Disclaimers here or some descriptions and then it says that this is a one per one for the four kit and then here uh, It says uh, that this Area is about the advanced MS joint. So for this kit. I think it's the MS joint number 19 but it's limited to the joints uh, for the wings. So these are the, the joint for the wings. And here it says that the shoulders and torso uh, blocks have articulation and gimmicks. So it has additional articulation and gimmicks on that part. And then there's also a gimmick on the barrel of the Buster rifle. And here it shows uh, the transform version of the Gundam Wing. And it explains that this kit is fully transformable. And it shows some articulation and gimmicks when everything is transformed. And then here it shows an articulation uh, for the shield. And then you can get your um, handle for the beam saber there. So in this corner, uh, it's explaining that this kit has a sticker and uh, it's a advanced sticker that shows extreme details that are hard to uh, get from traditional stickers. So that's your side here. And then on the shorter side, you can see this is number 35 from the RG series, RG line. And then it shows the name here with the transformed version. And then on this side, you can see the action poses here. So this is um, the front action pose. And then you have the rear and some more action pose here, as well as the transform version there. And then on this part, you can see all the warnings, uh, the product warnings, the barcode, and all the legal stuff. And then on this side, uh, as you can see, it's not the usual duplicate, but here you can see the tight shot of the Wing Gundam. So you can see the number 35 here as well, as well as name. And then you have the logo there, but the artwork is different from the other side. So we're going to see what's inside the box. Let's check how many bags we have. One, this is the first bag. This is the second bag. Third bag. Fourth bag. Fifth bag. Sixth. Seventh. And all in all, we have eight bags inside the box. And then here is the manual. So looking at the manual, we have the tight shot here of the uh, head. And then uh, it's really, really standard. So you have the RG, the number, and the name. Then opening it, uh, 
it's pretty much a standard RG building manual. So you can see the warnings here, the uh, runner list. And at first glance, I think we're going to use most of the runners, if not all of the parts from the runners. And then you have the description about the Gundam Wing here. And then uh, it begins the building instruction. So uh, I'm just going to put this up here so that you can pause and read it. So that's the short description regarding the wing. And then here are the building instruction. So it's pretty straightforward and pretty standard and similar to the other RGs. And then uh, this part uh, is where the bird mode begin. It's just, um, I think it's just off that this part doesn't have a translation. So I'm just going to put it up here still. And then if you want to pause it or if you want to translate it. So that's the bird mode building instruction. And here is the weapon. And then we have descriptions regarding the weapons here as well. But again, this is not uh, translated. So it all is in Japanese. So if you want to pause and translate it again, just do so. And then here we have the uh, decal guide or sticker guide. And then underneath we have the color chart. So if you want to get the values, just pause it. And that's the manual for the Wing Gundam. So let's check the runners individually. First we have the A runner. So A runner comes in four colors. So majority are gray, which is the parts for the shield and then some weapons as well as some details like the vent and stuff and then here are some joints and then here we have a darker uh, gray which has the reddish green tone so these are some uh, thrusters and probably some parts of the weapon as well and here we have the white parts which is the head so majority are head probably these are the uh, color and then here we have a luminous clear green so uh, these are probably some of the uh, light simulated parts such as the eyes and some of the um, like visors and stuff so that's uh, the green parts or clear green parts and this is your a runner so next is the B-Runner. So the B-Runner is an ABS plastic. And this is the MS joint. And uh, specifically the MS joint number 19, which is limited to the joints for the wing. So this is your B-Runner. Next is a duplicate. So we have the C-Runner. So we have two duplicate parts or duplicate runners rather. And this comes in the standard gray color. And these are mostly the inner frames and joints. So these are your C runners. Next, we have the D runner. So D runner comes in the standard gray color as well, um, which is the inner frame and the manipulator for the wing Gundam. So that's your D runner. Next, we have the E runner. So E runner comes in two runners and uh, it's duplicate in some parts. So those are the, I think, claws for the shield. And then these are some armors. And as you can see here in E2, you have the beefin and uh, the parts for the uh, skirt and then some vents in there. And then here is uh, some parts of the weapons and probably the wings and shield. So that's your E runners. And next is the e F runner rather. So similar to the E runner, uh, we have some duplicate parts, uh, which are the one for the feet and some armor. And this comes in the blue color. 
and you have the parts for I think this one is for the back skirt and this one are for the skirts so that's your E runner next is the G runner so G runner is similar to the ENF which is a two runners and it has a duplicate on that part and these parts are for the wings and these are for the shield so that's your G runner which comes in the red color next is the H runner so H runner comes in two runners as well and it's a duplicate on that part and this comes in an off-white color so it's uh, a little off-white to set some two-tone white in here so mostly our uh, external armors or armors and that's your H runner next is the I runner so I runner is two runners so we have the duplicate on that part which is the armor for the legs and the um, tie and here you have the parts for the wings and here you have some parts for the shield so this one comes in the white color uh, and that's your eye runner and lastly for the runner we have the uh, saber or SB-13 so this one is in the green color it's uh, away from the uh, standard pink color for the RX 78-2 so that's your SB runner and lastly we have the stickers or decals so um, this one is standard with the RG kits but for the wing Gundam it has some stickers that uh, gives a metallic sheen on it so it's that's the different part for it and this one gives a better metallic look or shine to the stickers so look at look at this so that's your sticker for the wing Gundam and that was the unboxing of the RG wing Gundam this is a pretty straightforward RG kit I've heard a lot of good things about it I'm really excited to see the articulation on the shield as well as the transformation to the bird mode I would like to thank Masamune Studio for sponsoring this video. And if you want to grab this RG or any RG out there or any other kit, just visit their website and browse from a wide selection of model kits. They have P Bandai's, they have other kits, they have building materials, they have paints, tools, and many more. So check out their website, link in the description. And if you really like this content, please don't forget to subscribe. Please like the video for your algorithm and share it to your builder friends. And let me know in the comments what do you think about this kit if you already built it let me know what are the pitfalls what should i look forward to and overall what what do you think about the kit so let me know in the comments and lastly thank you for watching and keep building